Hello and welcome, Amada Pratap Singh. You're joining us on NewsX after a set of hectic meetings. Devendra Fadnavis is in Delhi to meet with Amit Shah. The decision on who will be the next Chief Minister of Maharashtra is all set to be made tonight. We've been told that Eknath Shinde is also likely to attend this meeting, which is scheduled for late in the night, while Ajit Pawar is not coming to Delhi anymore. He will not be part of this meeting. He has given his backing already to Devendra Fadnavis, our sources tell us. He is uh, seeking the finance ministry for himself. But uh, it is Fatnavis who, of course, right now is leading the race to be Chief Minister. Our sources tell us remains to be seen. How then Eknath Shinde will be accommodated? Anand Singh is joining us uh, for more details on this story. Anand, have Devendra Fatnavis and Eknath Shinde left for Delhi? Even as we learn that Ajit Pawar has cancelled his program. Yeah, okay, look, uh, we talk about uh, uh, eight last Sunday also that uh, now we have learned from our social directly to will not be living for the new as the meeting that was scheduled with a mix of all the team members uh, later in the night today has got cancelled. Uh, later in the night today has got cancelled and even Ajit Pravar has cancelled his trip to Delhi. So clearly uh, more suspense is building up on the issue of who will be the next Chief Minister of Maharashtra and what will be the Mahayuti's formula for the government over here in Maharashtra. So looking at the current scenario that has just emerged uh, when in the evening it was being said by the party sources and claimed by the party sources that they will be attending a program of uh, Om Birla there in the national capital and then they will be meeting uh, the Home Minister over there. So now the two leaders, uh, they have confirmed that they are not uh, leaving for Delhi tonight. So this is what we are fre learning fresh from our sources in the NCP uh, AP camp and uh, Siv Sena Sindhe camp. Back to you there. A political analyst, in fact, is also joining us now live, uh, Deshat Nigam, who according to you is... Uh, <clears throat> Your favourite to be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, who is leading the race according to you, what decisions, uh, what factors could influence the decision of the High Command of the Mahayuti Alliance tonight? Well, Uday, let me uh, tell you one thing. Both Shinde and uh, Ajit Pawar have already given their no objection. It was there in the news as well. And therefore, obviously, the largest party is BJP with almost, I think, 137 seats on the road. And uh, 57 uh, of the Shiv Shinde Sena and uh, 41 by the NCP. I think by mathematical logic as well. This time, uh, Mr. Fadnavis turned. Last time, the tall leader like Mr. Fadnavis on his own also took a back seat. And in order to run the state of Maharashtra and to rid it of corruption, which was already there uh, earlier, he had taken a back seat and began, uh, and already a, a chief minister became a deputy CM. Therefore, I don't think there is anything uh, upsetting in uh, the Maharashtra politics. Mr. Fadnavis is the number one choice. And I believe in all probability and possibilities, he will be the CM. And I don't think there is any doubt about it. Okay. Devendra Fadnavis will be the CM, according to you, and uh, that should be the natural choice. Uh, Yuvraj Pokhana, columnist, is also joining us now live. Yuvraj Pokhana, the action is, of course, shifting to Delhi now. Hectic late-night meetings are likely today to be held. Uh, who, according to you, is going to be Chief Minister? What's your hunch and what are the factors that will influence this final decision? Hello, Uday. It's good to be with you once again. Uh, let me take the bull by its horn. I'm not here to speculate, but yes, let me present some data pointers for your fans, for your viewers. See, first of all, it's it's in the last 50 years that this win is unprecedented with the uh, pre-poll alliance having to secure the uh, 200 plus seats, which is the max. Devendra Bhav somehow managed to, I mean, this is the third swearing in ceremony for the BJP led Mahayuti government. And yes, under the stewardship of Devendra Fadnavis, BJP has managed to shatter its own record of 2014 and 2019. So as everybody is very much confident that Deva Bhav is the number one choice. But as they say, it's not over until it's over. So my fingers are crossed because the biggest factor, the Maratha factor is with Eknath Shinde. He is seen as a readily available 24-7 CM even an auto driver is so confident when you meet somebody at Juhu Beach that I will give you a CM with you, you tell me. So this is his availability, his presence. Uh, so I mean, 
देर आर प्रोज एंड कॉन्स विद देवेंद्र भाव देर आर प्रोज एंड कॉन्स विद एक नाथ शिंदे एंड यू नेवर नो वॉट ऑन द कार्ड मे बी देवेंद्र भाव कुड बी द नेक्स्ट नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द बीजेपी सो ही मे अगेन मेक अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज एंड सेटल फॉर डेप्यूटी सी एम यू नेवर नो ओके uh gautam mukherjee senior journalist is also with us live now on the broadcast gautam mukherjee what's your hunch uh, who is uh, leading the race according to you uh, what are the uh, you know the final considerations going to be uh, while making that choice between devendra fadnavis eknath shinde or a dark horse well you know the the numbers dictate that devendra fadnavis should be uh, chief minister but Uh, in my opinion if he is made chief minister on the basis of bjp's spectacular performance it makes the mahayukti weak in terms of lasting out the full term because there will always be uh, a tendency to break away amongst ajit power and his people if not ajit power then certainly his people uh, uh ditto shinde and his people so making shinde and ajit power uh, you know choosing between them is probably uh, meant to give greater stability to maharashtra which is crucial Uh, it's is the second biggest uh, state in terms of uh, numbers sent to the lok sabha it is the financial capital of india it is not just any state uh, devendra fadnavis needs to be rewarded whether he should be brought into the center and given a cabinet post uh, is something that uh, mr modi and mr shah have to consider Uh, he need not remain as such in uh, maharashtra politics if he has to, uh, another suggestion that was made is that he becomes uh, the the party president nationally uh, that is also a possibility because nadda is about to retire from that post uh, is the obvious thing will be okay he will be chief minister but i hope that uh, uh, the obvious is not chosen and at the same time uh, fadnavis is soundly rewarded by an elevation all right let me uh, quickly in fact also uh, get uh, you back in here uh, on this uh, big story of raj pokarna where you are interestingly saying that devendra fadnavis could possibly be moved to delhi uh, does that mean then according to you he is in the running for a union ministry or bjp president uh no the i mean if you clearly observe the situation being uh, i mean so called rewarding him with a cabinet berth will be nothing short of relegation to his stature but what i feel is there are myriads of factors for starters this is the first modi government which is i mean running a coalition government it does not have a thumping majority so they are whether we like it or not but dependent on their allies so if the reward ekna shinde again with the cm post it will give a resounding message of unity of rewarding to their allies so that is one second my sources also told me that 90 some 90 days ago devendra fadnavis was allocated a government bungalow in delhi so there are high possibilities that he may be running for the post of national working president of the bjp And okay we're getting more news now coming in this hour sources tell us that eknath shinde is yet to leave for delhi sources tell us shinde might not attend this delhi meeting tonight daryl miranda is joining us for more details on this story daryl devendra fadnavis is on his way to delhi eknath shinde though has not left yet what explains the delay Uday Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis has already left for Delhi in the evening at around 5:15 PM. But on the other hand, Eknath Shinde is still in Mumbai and he has not yet left for Delhi because what news we are getting through our sources is that uh, Devendra Fadnavis is going to meet the senior BJP leaders in Delhi. That is 
Amit Shah, Prime Minister Modi and J.P. Nadda. And after this meeting, Eknath Shinde will also be called to Delhi and have a discussion on this. But right now, uh, Eknath Shinde has not yet moved to Delhi. He is still in Mumbai. Uh, because if we see the MLAs of Shiv Sena, Shinde faction want Eknath Shinde to be the Chief Minister. And they are uh, insisting that Eknath Shinde should be the Chief Minister. But on the other hand, there is a big breaking coming in that Eknath Shinde has not yet left for Delhi. He is still in Mumbai and he is in a wait and watch position. Because once the meeting of Devendra Fadnavis is done with the Delhi senior leaders, it is after then that Eknath Shinde might move to Delhi and have a discussion with the BJP leaders. But now, yet uh, till now the Eknath Shinde has not yet left for Delhi and even does that mean that, that Eknath Eknat Shinde might not go to Delhi this evening does that suggest that that he might not go to Delhi this evening what can be read into that then Darren Miranda is he sulking is he waiting and watching Uday, as of now Eknath Shinde is still in Mumbai and he is not at left for Delhi. If he were, if he would have been called in Delhi by the uh, senior leaders of the BJP to meet, he would have already left along with Devendra Fadnavis. But till now, he has not yet left for Delhi and is still in Mumbai because it is said that he has not yet been called to Delhi for a meeting because the meeting is said to be uh, between uh, the Home, uh, Home Minister Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda, uh, Prime Minister Modi and Devendra Fadnavis. If you look, only the BJP leaders uh, will be having a meeting and after that, it is that uh, Eknath Shinde might move to Delhi. But as of now, Eknath Shinde is still in Mumbai and he has not yet left for Delhi. Ode. All right, let me uh, go back across to Deshat Nigam. Deshat Nigam, uh, Eknath Shinde, interestingly, not uh, left for Delhi as yet. You believe he's already given his backing to Devendra Fadnavis. Uh, uh, but could there be a surprise in store? If the BJP is indeed uh, getting the CM's chairs, you believe they should, uh, as you told us earlier. Will it be Mr. Fadnavis itself? Or could there be a surprise in store? Could there be a dark horse in the race, as we've seen the BJP do earlier in other states? They were RSS people, you know, who had come to the BJP and they were made chief ministers. So that's not the case here. And let me tell you, there are certain hidden statistics in the numbers that uh, are coming out from Maharashtra. Large number of BJP members contested on Shiv Sena ticket and have won. Shinde Shiv Sena and from NCP because they were not being able to find suitable candidates. So that mathematics probably one has to take into account. That's a hidden mathematics which is there. And logically even otherwise also, uh, Mr. Ekna Shinde yesterday had gone on the court saying that when uh, BJP made them as CM when they didn't have the number, looking into so many things. And therefore, right now, if you look at the mathematics, the expectation of the people and the delivery that the BJP and Mr. Fadnavis did in Maharashtra, I think it becomes a very natural choice. I am not expecting any surprise. And believe me, with uh, two deputy CMs, Mr. Ajit Pawar and Eknath Shinde, is, uh, I think it's more than sufficient. And they'll very ably run the Maharashtra government. And uh, the kind of mandate that they have got they have to justify. There are no excuses now. 235 seats out of 288 is a humongous majority, humongous mandate, and they have to live up to that expectation. No room for error. Certainly, you can't say that you don't have the numbers. And therefore, Mr. Fadnav is having huge amount of experience uh, in running the Maharashtra government and also a tall leader now at the national level. I believe it's a very natural choice. Okay. Uh, however, of course, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, Gautam Mukherjee, uh, the BJP is known to surprise as they have in the past. Will they surprise in Maharashtra as well or will they go with the obvious choice? Well, I, I, I don't think they can properly, you know, the latest news, what you just said, Shinde is not going yet. I think Shinde will go to Delhi when they designate him as the CM elect. If they're going to choose Fadnavis, then he doesn't see the point in going to Delhi. So he's waiting to see if Fadnavis is given some other job and he gets the job as chief minister and uh, Ajit Power can be his deputy. Uh, you know, Fadnavis, in a sense, has become too big a winner in Maharashtra to continue yet again in Maharashtra politics. It is certainly better if the BJP thinks 
of moving him to the center in a cabinet post or uh, as has been suggested as the president of the party uh, if, certainly if organizational skills are to be rewarded because of maharashtra though there is a big component of rss uh, action that has delivered this uh, result so it isn't just the bjp kader it is certainly the rss plus the bjp kader uh, as mr nigam pointed out there are even uh, bjp candidates who won under the banner of 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 shinde sena as well as uh, ajit power ncp so in all of this that shows a lot of organizational ability the center certainly needs a man of great organizational ability fadnavis i think would be wasted as chief minister in maharashtra odai does that mean then that you believe that uh, someone else from the bjp should become uh, the chief minister a dark horse or is the no, cm no, chair going I back or is the cm chair going back to eknath shinde according to you uh, i think it should be eknath shinde <clears throat> eknath shinde is marathi this is maharashtra uh, fadnavis is the wrong caste in a sense and uh, though he is very much very much a marathi he he would be better placed and utilized at the center okay should it be a maratha then dej ratnigam Uh, gautam uh, gautam mukherji says it should be a maratha as chief minister a brahman should not be cm of maharashtra it's not the right caste combination also uh, he believes he should be moved to delhi for strategy perhaps as bjp president uh, meanwhile eknath shinde sources tell us his faction has been pushing for him by saying there should be continuity the election was fought in his name why drop him now well let me tell you the kind of verdict that the mahayuti have got this was beyond marathas brahmins and mahars let me tell you it wasn't based on that it is it is a kind of a verdict which you get once in a lifetime a kind of a record 50 years which means a different kind of circumstances were prevailing out there the the hindus getting united so instead of being divided in marathas and brahmins like that and the sajagraho campaign of the rss in view of the 180 organizations of the muslims specifically asking votes in the name of religion and and dictating terms was one of the reasons that the sajagraho campaign which was not directed towards uh, towards or against any political party it was kind of a uh, social awareness campaign which people liked it and that is where i think uh, the important achievement is that uniting everybody out there under a banner and the kind of verdict which has been delivered i think clearly points out that i don't think that kind of a divide in this kind of a verdict would exist and uh, given the numbers i think mr uh, fadnav is uh, i i i i'll still say that there is no surprise out here for me okay yuvraj pokana quickly coming back across to yuvraj pokana Uh, Eknath Shinde yet to leave for Delhi. Um, uh, would, would your eyebrows be raised at that uh, decision? Uh, well, not exactly there because I always maintained the position that Devendra Bhau is a he, when he came to BJP he was an RSS man in the BJP, but now he is a BJP man in the RSS. If you care carefully discern the two statements. So if Narendra Modi wants to rejuvenate the party for the coming five years. for the coming 2029 lok sabha polls he would need a president a national president in sitting in delhi following uh, under his ages but in unison with the rss and who better than devendra fadnavis so whether it is the caste combination that he does not fit in as the maharashtra cm any more that gautam ji said he is now bigger than life he is the bigger than maharashtra now so i see a very much bigger role for him in delhi in the center so that is what i feel he may be the next party president in last 10 seconds last seconds last 10 seconds after amit shah bjp had somehow started to doubt himanta biswas sharma is the next chanakya but clearly himanta is not from rss background he does not enjoy the support of the rss then that is the only thing that i feel that devendra well he, he also he also he also couldn't uh, win them the state of jharkhand where he was in charge recently 
because uh, th there were inter-Senine feuds within the party and RSS somehow was not happy with uh, this uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma. And as I said, he is not an RSS man. He has a different set of skill set. He has a different working style. But Devendra Bhav is the guy who can mobilize RSS and BJP in each and every damning state of India, from Kerala to Kashmir. The question now, who will get the finance ministry? The NCP and the Shiv Sena are both gunning for that Desha Tanigam. When will a call on that be taken? Who has the first clip? Well, I think if you have to run a government very smoothly, home and finance, generally you have to go with the largest party. I mean, that's uh, unless until they decide something else, when there are other departments, uh, revenue as well, and uh, cooperative banking and things like that, which is quite strong. The cooperative movement is very strong in Maharashtra. So, uh, practically speaking, I think the home and revenue may go to the uh, BJP CM. Okay. Uh, home, finance, and CM's chair to the BJP. Where will this leave the others then, Gautam Mukherjee? They perhaps won't be very happy if Mr. Nigam's formula is adopted. Well, I think, uh, you know, there is, you know, the way I'm thinking with, uh, with Padnavis out of the picture for having been transferred, if you like, to the center, uh, they will have to distribute the main, um, uh, you know, portfolios between Shinde and Ajit Power. Ajit Power has been deputy chief minister countless times. I mean, third or fourth time. He's going to be deputy chief minister yet again. So for him to say, at least give me the finance ministry is not unreasonable. He has performed very well. He has decimated Sharad Power's NCP and uh, proved that he is the true successor, no Sule business. So he must be rewarded. He is a capable administrator. And I think Shinde fully realizes it. Uh, Shinde will be more than happy to make chief minister, as will all his people, given that he had 57 seats and still managed to continue as chief minister. Ajit Power must be given a lot of, uh, you know, space and, uh, and and power for him to also feel rewarded. As far as the BJP goes, the BJP controls the show, with who, irrespective of who's the chief minister and the deputy chief minister and who has what portfolio. When you have an overwhelming majority of 137 in this particular uh, gut bandhan, then uh, by by any common sense, uh, okay. BJP will okay. control okay. what goes on. Point taken. My thanks to our guests for joining us on this uh, discussion. We're getting some more breaking news coming in. Massive protests have broken out in Chittagong following the arrest of ISKCON priest and Bangladesh uh, Hindu leader Chinmoy Krishna Prabhu at the Dhaka airport today, according to local media. He has been arrested over charges of disrespecting the Bangladesh national flag and was picked up by Chittagong police. Renik Datta is joining us for more details on this story. Renik, there is unrest in Bangladesh after this development in Dhaka airport. ऐसे में देखिए जिस तरीके से आज नरसिंहमती सुदास को गिरफ्तार किया गया है उसके बाद ही बांग्लादेश में फिर से एक टोटल देखने को मिल रहा है बांग्लादेश जो पुलिस है उनके जो डिटेक्टिव डिपार्टमेंट है उनके तरफ से आज दोपहर को ही चिमाक किशन दास को गिरफ्तार किया गया है जैसे कि पुलिस की तरफ से इंफॉर्मेशन मिल रहा है कि उनके खिलाफ में 25 अक्टूबर चट्टग्राम में उनका एक पब्लिक मीटिंग था उस पब्लिक मीटिंग से उनके तरफ से जो बयान दिया गया था उसके खिलाफ भी एक सिडिशन का मामला दायर किया गया था चट्टग्राम पुलिस में और वो कंप्लेन बीएनपी लीडर पीरोज खान की तरफ से कंप्लेन किया गया था और उसी कंप्लेन के बेसिस पर इनके खिलाफ में एरेस्ट वारंट था और ये एरेस्ट वारंट के वजह से आज जब ढाका एयरपोर्ट में वो लोग वो जब पहुंचे थे उनका चट्टान जाने का बात था फ्लाइट से और ढाका एयरपोर्ट में पहुंचते ही उनको गिरफ्तार किया गया है और इसी को देखते हुए उनको गिरफ्तार करने के बाद ही 
एटलिस्ट एक बार बांग्लादेश में जो प्रोटेस्ट वो प्रोटेस्ट देखने को मिल रहा है बांग्लादेश में उनके उनका ये प्रोटेस्ट के खिलाफ है बांग्लादेश का हर एक जगह पे इस तरीके का विरोध प्रदर्शन देखने को मिल रहा है चीतागांव हो चट्टग्राम सब जगह में ये प्रोटेस्ट देखने को मिल रहा है सभी का एक ही कहना है की जिस तरीके से इसके पहले भी नौ लोगों को गिरफ्तार किया गया था अठारह लोगों के अगेंस्ट सेडिशन का मामला दायर किया गया था उसी के तहत बांग्लादेश ये जो इंटरन गवर्नमेंट इनके तरफ से चुन चुन कर जो हिंदू लीडर्स थे उनके खिलाफ ये कंप्लेन दायर किया जा रहा है उनके खिलाफ में कार्रवाई किया जा रहा है और इसी को मुद्दा बनाते हुए बांग्लादेश में फिर से एक बार जो प्रोटेस्ट वो प्रोटेस्ट दिखने को मिल रहा है बिल्कुल और जो अल्पसंख्यक समाज है बांग्लादेश में जो हिंदू समाज है वहाँ उनको उनको लग रहा है कि एक बायस्ड फैसला है शायद हाँ एकदम ही देखिए जिस तरीके से बांग्लादेश में इसका पहले भी दिखा गया था अगर बात किया जाए अक्टूबर महीने का अक्टूबर महीने में भी नौ लोगों को गिरफ्तार किया गया था सेडिशन मामले पर वो लोग भी इस कौन के साथ शामिल थे जो लोग संकलन भी संप्रदाय है उनका उनका जो लोग उनके खिलाफ भी कार्रवाई किया जा रहा है ऐसा बात भी बार बार से सामने आया था इसके बाद देखा गया कि पूरा नवंबर महीने का पहला पहला हफ्ते से लेकर लगातार बांग्लादेश में जो इस्कॉन है इस्कॉन की तरफ से हर एक जगह में प्रदर्शन किया जा रहा था क्योंकि बांग्लादेश में जो जिस तरीके से हिंदू हो या माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटी जो है उनके ऊपर जिस तरीके से हमले का घटना सामने आ रहा था उसको लेकर इस्कॉन की तरफ से रैलिया किया जा रहा था इस तरीके का रैली में ये चीज किशोर दास भी शामिल हुए थे 22 नवंबर उनकी तरफ से एक रैली भी किया गया था उस रैली में भी देखा गया था चट्टग्राम का ये जो रैली था उस रैली में भी देखा गया था कि सीमा किशोर दास की तरफ से बांग्लादेश गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ में बहुत सारे बयान दिया गया था उसी बयान उसी बयान के आधार पर भी उनके खिलाफ में मामला दायर किया गया था कि उन्होंने बांग्लादेश का जो नेशनल फ्लैग है वो नेशनल फ्लैग को डिसरेस्पेक्ट किया है और वो मामला वो मामले में भी सेडिशन का मामला ऐड किया गया था इससे पहले भी ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ अक्टूबर उन्होंने जब बयान दिया था उसी टाइम पर भी बांग्लादेश का जो नेशनल फ्लैग उनको अवलोकन किया गया था इसी वजह से सेडिशन का मामला उनके खिलाफ में लगाया गया था और इसी केस के आधार पर आज उनको ढाका से गिरफ्तार किया गया है ढाका इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट से उनको गिरफ्तार किया गया है और जैसे की पुलिस की तरफ से कहा जा रहा है की एक रिक्वेस्ट आया था चट्टग्राम रिक्वेस्ट आया था और इसी वजह से डिपार्टमेंट के तरफ से बांग्लादेश का उनके तरफ से गिरफ्तार किया गया है और राइट ट्रेनिंग दत्ता थैंक यू फॉर जॉइन